Hello, my name is Hemant Sharma and I am a technical engineer for Dynalog India Limited's educational product. Today, we will be talking about Dyna85L, which is a advanced single board computer based on 8085 microprocessor designed specially for training and development purpose. The purpose of this video is to give a brief overview on Dyna85L and to show you how easy it is to operate and run the kit. Firstly, let us see what do we get when we unpack the kit. This is a Dyna 85L kit which comes along with a rugged metallic enclosure. Use a manual to get all necessary information regarding the operation, circuit diagram and few sample programs. We also get a CD which comes with a demo software connecting kit to a personal computer. A set of cables which includes 50 pin, 26 pin, 10 pin as well as your 9 pin D-type connector cable in order to interface with the PC. And we do provide a 5-pin uh, PS2 to DIN5 connector in order to connect PS2 keyboard to this device. We do get a IBM compatible keyboard along with this kit. And we also provide a power cord in order to power on the device. Now I would like to give you an introduction about the system hardware as to see what all things are used in order to run the kit. This is a Dyna 85L kit which comes along with a rugged metallic enclosure. This kit it also comes along with an inbuilt switch mode power supply in it, as well as a cooling fan for heat dissipation purpose. An acrylic transparent glass has been provided on top of the PCB to protect it from dust, at the same time makes easier for the students to visualize the system hardware tool. On the right hand side of the kit, you could see a red push to on switch. This is a reset button in order to reset the device. Coming towards the left side of the kit, this is a power supply section with 3 pin male power socket where we need to connect the power cord. There is also a switch to power on and off the device once you connect the power cord to the kit. Let us see the back side of the kit. This is a 9 pin D type male connector named as serial which is used for serial interface. The other 9 pin D type Female connector which is named as PIO PS is for providing external supply to the PIO devices. Then we come to the connector named as KBD which is a DIN5 connector in order to connect the IBM keyboard for operating the kit. And we also do have a fan out here for heat dissipation purpose. Now I would like to give you an introduction about the system hardware as to see what all things are there and what are used in order to run the kit. So let me open the acrylic glass from this kit and show you the internal hardware of it. So we need to unscrew the screw which has been provided out here and remove the acrylic glass pulling it towards the right side. To start with the power supply section, this is your power supply section which comes along with the inbuilt power supply. Normally plus 5 volt is sufficient enough to power on this device but in order to run the external peripheral devices we do require plus minus 12 volt which has also been provided on the PSPIO connectors on this kit. Coming towards the central processing unit, Dyna 85L is based on Intel 8085 high performance CPU operating at 3 MHz which is generated by a crystal oscillator which you could see it out here. Coming towards the memory section, a powerful and user friendly 16 kilobyte system monitor has been provided on a 27128E Pro and a PIO monitor of 2732 of 32 kilobyte is also provided. The codes and subroutines are stored on these monitors and are accessible to the user using various commands. A 6264 RAM with 3.6 volt nickel cadmium battery backup which consists of 8 kilobytes of memory is provided on board for fetching and executing the codes. Coming towards the LCD and keyboard section, an IBM compatible keyboard with 104 keys and 40 into 2 lines LCD display is provided for interface using a system 8089C2051 microcontroller interface module. This interface is used SID and SOD lines of CPU to simulate it in a serial virtual mode. We have 
a DIN5 connector which is named as KBD connector at the back side of this kit to connect the IBM compatible keyboard in order to run the kit. Now let us come towards parallel IO interface section. 46 parallel IO lines are provided on board with 22 lines from 8155 and 24 lines from 8255 PPI chips. These lines are brought to the insulation displacement connector named as J2 for 8155 and J3 for 8255. This is a serial I.O. interface section. Serial I.O. is available through RS232 compatible ports which has been named as serial and you could see it on the back side of the kit. The serial input data lines and the serial output data lines are used under software control for serial operation. Coming towards the timer section, 3 channel of 8253 chip, a 16 bit timer counter. All the lines of 8253 are provided on the IDC connector named as J4 in order to use any kind of application related to timer and counter. This is our expansion slot section. It's a 50 pin IDC connector where all the address, data, control and hardware inter interrupt lines of 8085 processor has been synchronized to this connector for further expansion and system interface. And this IDC connector has been named as J1. Rest, the components which are there in this kit are your latches, your buffers and your active and passive components. As you all know, the processing speed of a microprocessor is very fast and cannot be visualized with the naked eyes. So in order to see the operation and analyze the result, we use latches as a temporary memory. A current amplification buffer is used in order to amplify the current in order to maintain the current rating for the, for the board. So this was an overview about the system hardware for Dyna 85L kit so as to be familiar with the kit. Now let us begin with the operation of the kit. Before we start the programming section, certain things are to be noted. First, please do make sure the jumper settings on your board is as per the vector setting in order to avoid any kind of error on kit. Second, the memory mapping of user RAM starts from address C000 to FFFF. User could write the program anywhere between C000 to FFFF. Third, get the program along with the hex code which has to be entered. Let us start with a simple experiment of adding two 8-bit numbers and store the result in some memory location. To begin with the experiment, let me power on the device by connecting a power cord to the kit. Once we connect the power cord to the kit, now we need to connect a DIN5 to PS2 converter cable to our PS2 keyboard. And then the DIN5 connector has to be inserted into the KBD connector of this kit. Once we connect the keyboard to the device, now you can switch on your device. As you switch on the device, you get a display named Dynalog India Limited and a prompt called Dyna85. If this display appears on the screen, then you can be assured that the kit is in working condition and proceed ahead for further programming. To begin with the program, the user has to be aware of system commands which has to be entered while writing the program. So regarding the information of the system command, I would suggest you to refer the manual. Now let us begin with the command A which stands for assemble and followed by the starting address location where the user wants to write the program. So that is C000 and then enter. Now I got into the program counter of it. So out here we can directly write the program in assembly language. So I will start with MVI space A comma 0 to enter and I will go to the next line. MVI space B comma 0 3 enter and we will go to the next space next line. Add 
space B enter. Then again, we'll go to the next program counter. Now I will be using STA space address location wherever I want to store my result. So that would be C050. H enter. And at the last, we just need to give the command RST space 1 in order to halt the device. Press one more time, enter. And then escape in order to come back into the prompt. So this way we can write the program into it. Now we will proceed ahead with the execution part of it. So for execution we need to use the command go g o go space your starting address location where you had started your program which was c000 and then enter. After 4 seconds you just need to press space bar. Once you do so, again you come back into the prompt named as Dyna85. If this prompt appears properly, then your program has been executed. As we had written the program and executed the program, now we need to check the result. So in order to see the result in the accumulator content or any of the registers, we can use the command named as R and then enter. As you could see, on the first accumulator contained it's 0, 05. So the addition of two numbers, the data which we had given was 2 and 3. So the resultant which we got it's 0, 05 on the accumulator. So again, in order to come back into the prompt, use escape. So this was one of the way for checking the result. Now how to check the result which we have stored in some memory location? So for that we use the command D which stands for display memory content followed by space wherever you, the user has been assigned to store the data. So the memory location which was allocated to store the data was C050H and then press enter. So as you can see on the first data it's 05. So this way the result can be stored in some location. Again to come back into the prompt, press escape. Once the programming has been completed, please make sure that you have shut down the kit and place the acrylic glass to its position. So this was a demonstration for Dyna85L kit. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our factory or to look into our website which is www.dynalogindia.com.